Hello, Cook Rangers. This is Mr. Floyd. We're going to be doing our social studies lesson now. And for chapter two, we are reading about new people coming to America. So first, we'll start out by looking at some of our vocabulary. Here's some of the vocabulary words we might find in new people come to America. Come. Live. Have want, go, build, were, work, pay, many, new, in, here, better, own, free, without, people, America, life, freedom, church, land, and house. You'll find this paper printed out in your packet. Review these before you start to read the story and make sure you're familiar with the words that we're going to see in the story, new people come to America. Okay, we're ready to start reading our story. Chapter two, new people come to America. And we see on the first page, we see a man pulling a plow uh, planting probably food, uh, being pulled by two horses. Many new people came to live in America. They hoped to have a better life in America. Some people came to try new things. Some people came to feel safe. Some people came to find work. And there's a picture of a church building on the next page. Some people came to America for religious freedom. They did not like their church in Europe. They wanted to worship in their own way. Now we have a picture of somebody building something with a hammer and nails. Some people came to America to have land. They did not have land in Europe. They built houses on American land. They raised their families on the land. And they farmed on the land. Some people did not want to come to America. They came to America as slaves. Slaves were brought to America from Africa. They were forced to work hard. They were not paid. They were not free. This is what it means to be a slave. All of these people became part of America. This was the start of a new life for people in America. Okay, that was our story. There were some questions in there that you can talk about after you've read the story. Maybe talk about it with your mom or dad or one of your brothers, whoever's there at the house. Let's look at the questions. What kinds of things did people do in America? You can look up at the picture for some ideas. What does religious freedom mean? And you can look back at this picture of a church. It had something to do with going to church. What did people do with their new land? So when people came here, what did people do with their land? And the next question, what is a slave? What does it mean to be a slave? That was on this page, see the picture. And finally, how did people feel living in America? 
How do you think it felt for them to come to America and have all the freedom they have here? How did that make them feel? Okay, think about those questions as you're reading the story. After you finish reading the story, we'll come back and we'll, and we'll look at our questions for the story. Okay, go ahead and read your story. Okay, after you've finished reading your story, new people come to America. We have some questions to answer. Let's take a look at the questions. Question number one, what is this chapter about? A, people coming to America. B, people fighting. Or C, people eating. Question number two, where did people go to start a new life? A, England. B, the mall. Or C, America. Question number three, what did people build houses on? Did they build them A, on ships, B, on land, or C, on laws? Question number four, who came to live in America? A, weather, B, airplanes, or C, new people. Question five, what is important to know about this chapter? What was the main idea? A, America is a country. B, people build houses in different ways. C, people had a new life in America. Question six, what did people from Europe want to be free to do in America? Remember, these questions on the second page always can have more than one answer. A, worship. B, own land. C, take ships. You can pick more than one of those. Question number seven. Where did some people come from? A, Africa. B, Ohio or C, Europe. Number eight, what does it mean to be a slave? A, no work. B, not free. C, not paid. Number nine, why did some people want to come to America? A, to start a new life. B, to try new things. C, to get a new dog. And number 10, why did people need land? A, to build houses. B, to raise their families. Or C, to farm. Okay, that's the end of the questions. You'll find these printed out in your packet. Go ahead and take your time working through the questions, look back at the story if you need your to help finding the answers. And that finishes up our lesson on new people coming to America. Have a great day, guys.